Any other questions? Yeah. I don't know if this is like super related, and I probably won't get the terminology correct, but you alluded to, um, I think, a determination of the original transcription. That's, that there's got to be an error somewhere. That's not, sorry, but um, in the termination part of, uh, you lose something off of the end of the telomere, right, in the cell. Would that imply that, like, with a significant age in an organism, they can no longer, like, their, their cells will not reproduce after certain point? Yeah, exactly. So the question was, if you, after DNA replication, right, we have a linear chromosome, and then the way that our polymerase works, the enzyme that adds the nucleotides, you're no, you're going to lose information at the end of the replication. And so we have these telomeres, which are these repetitive DNA sequence to prevent loss of important genetic information. And so the question was, what happens once the, those repetitive DNA sequences are gone? And it's true, that means the cell can no longer divide. And the telomeres, like there's an there's a enzyme called telomerase that kind of helps keep the telomeres like longer. Um, and those are like, you know, activated in many cancers and allows the cell to keep like dividing when it shouldn't. And yeah, so that's a really good question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so in a reproductive sense, right, if you combine and create a new organism, but that would be generated from cells that have already been shortened over time, right? So how, like, like a baby is then generated from people whose telomeres have been shortened just through the span of their life. How does the baby, like the telomeres in that new organism? Yeah. Okay, so the question is how do telomeres stay long through generations? And I don't know the answer to that. So we have germ cells that create, oh. Telomerase so. is active in germ cells. So telomerase is active in germ cells. There you go. Yeah. So yeah, it keeps them long. <laughs> Good questions. Um, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Is that codon table universal to all life? Yeah, so that's a really great question. It was, is the codon table universal? And yes, so the genetic code is both degenerate and universal. So yeah, these amino, the codons will encode for the same amino acids in plants and animals sim sim similarly. But codon usage is different. Yeah, oh, okay, so there are like, he, so he's asking if there's codon usage is different. Um, I do know that there are like humanized versions of genes and probably the way that we combine our amino acids might be different, but at least like the codon, like what, it, what amino acid it codes for is universal, yeah. There is codon bias between Yeah, so the codon bias, I guess, is the term you were looking for. And like viruses or whatever, use different versions, like different versions of the codon that it codes amino acid. Okay. Okay, yeah, so codon bias from different organisms, yeah. But, but they're still, they still have the same amino acids. Mm -hmm. Cool, good questions. Any others? All right.